Hi, I'm Ty. In this tutorial video, we'll be showing you how to set up your new Phantom 4 Pro drone with a pre-flight checklist of all the things you need to get you in the air. Now just pause the video and take notes if you have to. It's easy, so let's get started. Now it may seem obvious, but do inspect the aircraft for any physical damage from the previous flight or during transportation. Once you've done that and everything is fine, Check these items to make sure you have everything. The Phantom 4 Pro Drone. The remote controller, or dedicated Phantom 4 Pro Plus remote controller with built-in screen if you have it. An intelligent flight battery. A micro SD card if you plan on using the camera to take photos or videos. A mobile device with DJI GO 4 installed. If you are using the Phantom 4 Pro remote with a screen, a DJI GO 4 will be pre-installed. Got him? Great. Let's continue. Next, let's check your batteries to make sure they're fully charged and working properly. You check the intelligent flight battery by pressing the power button once. Check the battery in your remote by pressing its power button once. Now, check your mobile device. If you are using one, make sure you have enough battery for a full flight. Before we do our electronics test, let's get the aircraft physically ready for flight. Remove the warning labels from the motors after you've read the disclaimer. You can also remove the gimbal clamp now. Also, make sure your intelligent flight battery is fully installed. Now let's go on and check the electronics of your platform. First, mount your mobile device with the remote controller. Connect your USB cable. If you're using the dedicated Phantom 4 Pro controller with built-in screen, you don't need to do this. Turn on the remote by pushing the power button once, then once again, and hold. Now, unfold both antennas so they are more or less vertically extended. like this. So now let's turn the aircraft on. Again, push the power button once, again and hold. Now when the aircraft turns on, the rear LEDs will begin cycling through flashes of red, green, and yellow. This indicates that the aircraft is doing a self-check. The gimbal and camera will also perform a self-check, turning in each direction before stabilizing. The aircraft will then go into warm-up mode, and the lights will start flashing yellow. Now. Let's launch the DJI GO 4 app to make sure you're getting an image from the camera. Okay, let's go through how to start and stop the motors. The remote controller uses a CSC, or combination stick command, to start and stop the motors. To start the motors, pull both sticks down and in. Once the motors have spun up, they will idle. Watch and listen carefully to make sure the motors are spinning smoothly and that there are no irregular sounds. If you hear any abnormal noises, shut down the motors as soon as possible and take your Phantom 4 Pro to your nearest repair center. Other than that, congratulations. The Phantom 4 Pro motor test is now complete. You can stop the motors by pulling the throttle or left stick down for three seconds, like this. Turn everything off. Start with the Phantom 4 Pro. Press the power button once, then again, and hold. Now the remote controller. Press the power button once, again, and hold. And it's off. Now we've gone through our pre-flight checklist. In our next video, we'll be learning how to fly. Thanks for watching.